guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we are going to check out the new Quinn half inch digital torque wrench brought to you by Harbor Freight. This torque wrench features a 72 tooth ratcheting mechanism that allows for a five degree arc swing. It ranges from 12.5 foot pounds all the way up to 250 foot pounds. It gives you nine preset torque settings to allow flexibility and speed to change between applications if you need it. Now Harbor Freight compares this torque wrench to the Cobalt. Let's go check them out and see how they stack up. So here we can see an interesting comparison between the Quinn and the Cobalt product where there's a $30 price difference as well as a difference in ratchet tooth count. Now you can use a 20 or even 25% discount on the Harbor Freight item when available to bring that price down below 135, but you do only get a 90 day warranty. So the Cobalt item comes in at $200, has a coarse ratcheting mechanism, but is quick release and has a one year warranty. So actually looking at these torque wrenches side by side, you can see that the better case is definitely on the Quinn product. It has hinges and it's just gonna hold up better over time. The fit, finish, and feel of these, as well as the electronics, is nearly identical. And on a closer look, you can even see that they use the same Toshiba batteries to power them, which are two AA batteries. Why don't you guys comment down below which item you think is the winner while we go test out the accuracy of the Quinn Digital Torque Wrench. So we're going to want to ensure that the torque wrench is laying flat in the case or horizontally on a table before we turn it on. It calibrates itself and sets its angle each time, so we need to ensure that it's accurate. We can look here and see that we have the ability to store up to nine different presets. You can see here that we are going to be tracking the peak pull, and that way we should be ready to go. Now this will flash green as we approach the 90% of our peak torque, and it will start beeping when we meet or exceed our peak torque, this will indicate red and we will hear a continuous beep. So that being said, let's go check out how the accuracy of this torque wrench performs. So we're setting it in at 65 foot pounds. We got our torque wrench here set for 65 foot pounds. So we'll go ahead and see how this pulls. 656 65 point 65.6 65.8 65.1 65.2 65.4 those are some really tight tolerances so far from what I'm seeing well the manufacturer stresses two to three percent margin of error these things are falling really really tight and measuring very very accurate so we're going to up this to 80 foot pounds and that would be something right around where you would see some of your hondas and your toyotas we'll get our torque wrench right there dialed in at 80. all right guys Go ahead and see how 80 foot pounds measures out. 60. So we got 78.8 and 79.3. Again, very tight tolerances. 81 and 81.1. .1. Seventy nine point nine and eighty on the dot. Eighty nine point nine and eighty one point four. So that one is a little over. Eighty point three and eighty point four. So again, guys, even on 80 foot pounds, that's measuring really, really nicely. Again, following in all the manufacturer tolerances. So we'll go ahead and jump up to, if we had a Chevy Cobalt, we'd have a 100 foot pounds on the torque rating. 
So we'll get that dialed in here at 100 foot-pounds. Right there at 100 foot-pounds. Our torque wrench dialed in at 100 foot-pounds. That thing's zeroed out and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and see how this operates. Ninety nine point five, ninety nine point five, right on the nose. Ninety nine point four, ninety nine point two. Ninety-eight point two, ninety-eight point one. We'll do one more pull here. Ninety-nine point three, ninety-nine point two. So very, very impressive. We'll go ahead and do the counterclockwise. All right, so we'll go ahead and do counterclockwise here. Ninety nine point five, ninety eight point two, one hundred point three. 99.4 100 100.7 100.1 there let's go ahead and dial this up to 140 like if we were doing an avalanche that's what the torque settings on a Chevy Avalanche are So we have our new torque setting at 140 and over here we will clear that and we will go to 140 as our new torque setting. As soon as this zeroes out we should be ready to go. One thirty nine point four, one thirty nine point five. 139.7, 139.3, So when you get nice clean pulls, everything is really accurate, all within plus or minus 3% as stated by the manufacturer. And for the price point, this is not that bad of a torque wrench. I really am impressed. Let's give this a whirl and see what we can do as far as getting this up to what it measures as the peak torque. 256. So while this torque wrench has a rated capacity of 12.5 foot-pounds up to 250 foot-pounds, we were able to peak it out at 349.9 foot-pounds. Pretty impressive. While this torque wrench did exceed expectations, Always ensure that you're using the right tool for the right job to have the best results. Go ahead and comment down below, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and as always, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.